Ever feel like conquering the world is easier than finding a decent job these days? Well, in today's cartoon story joke, this engineer did, and his solution is as crazy as a fake mustache on a warrior. Ditch the dusty textbooks, folks, because who needs them when you have ancient warfare wisdom served up with a side of flaming insults? That's right, we are talking Sun Tzu's Art of War, the ultimate smackdown guide disguised as a military manual. Buckle up, history buffs, or should I say history bluffs? All right, let's crack open the fortune cookie of ancient warfare. The Art of War, also known as Sun Tzu's flame-throwing roast of your enemies, attorney not included. This dusty tome might be older than your grandma's flip phone. Okay, maybe not that old, but let's just say they didn't have fidget spinners in Sun Tzu's day. We're talking way back in the BC era, when spring and autumn wasn't just a clothing line. Imagine this, Sun Tzu, or as I like to call him, Sun Bro, because Tzu sounds suspiciously like your uncle's failed attempt at a rap career. Sun Bro wasn't just a dude who liked yelling a lot, although that probably happened too. He penned this 13-chapter epic filled with more battle tips than a Call of Duty loading screen. But hold your horses, or chariots, I guess. It gets better. For like 1,500 years, the art of war was the Justin Bieber of military manuals, topping the charts in what some random emperor called the Seven Military Classics. Basically, it was the Beyonce of bamboo scrolls, fierce, fabulous, and always dropping knowledge like a mic. Now here's the plot twist. Sun Tzu wasn't just about sharpening sticks and grunting. He was all about strategy, like way more strategy than your average sock puppet show. Weapons? Check. Weather? Check. Keeping your troops in line? Double check, because nobody likes a mutiny, especially not during nap time. Plus, don't forget spying, because apparently the best warriors also know how to rock a fake mustache. This book wasn't just some dusty relic. It traveled the world faster than a carrier pigeon with a social media addiction. French translations? Check. English versions? You betcha. The art of war spread faster than gossip in a toga party. And guess what? Forget conquering empires. This book can help you with literally anything. Business? Boom. Politics? Nailed it. Even dominating your friends at Mario Kart? Easy peasy. Because apparently, ancient Chinese wisdom is the ultimate cheat code for life. So next time you're facing a battle, whether it's a presentation at work, or a particularly stubborn stain on your shirt, remember, Sun Tzu's got your back. He's like your own personal Yoda, dispensing wisdom from beyond the grave. Grab your metaphorical lightsaber, or stapler, whatever works, and get ready to dominate. Because with the art of war on your side, you're basically unstoppable. Just maybe avoid the whole conquering empires thing, okay? Now let's get the joke machine started because things are about to get funnier than a chariot race with a runaway ostrich. An engineer was unemployed for a long time, the economy was flat, and there were no new projects where he could apply for work. On the spur of the moment, he decides to open a medical practice. He advertises, get any treatment for $500. If it does not help, you get a thousand bucks back. A real doctor thinks it's good opportunity to make a quick thousand dollars and walks in. I lost all taste in my mouth. He lied. No problem, said the engineer. Drink two tablespoons of this. He took a small bottle from the shelf and gave it to the doctor. However, the doctor immediately spits it out and exclaims indignantly, but it's petrol. There he is, said the engineer kindly. Your taste is obvious. It will be $500. The doctor reluctantly pays, but after a few days, he is back. I have lost my memory. I cannot remember anything. Again, the engineer took a small bottle from the shelf and ordered the doctor to drink two tablespoons. Again, the doctor spits it out and says that it is petrol. Wonderful, said the engineer. If you remember what petrol tastes like, your memory I clearly back it will be $500. Mad the doctor paid, but with revenge, he wanted to pay the engineer back. A week later, he is there again. My eyes suddenly deteriorated so much 
I'm practically blind, complains the doctor. Unfortunately, I have no treatment for that, says the engineer. As promised, here is your thousand dollars. But it's only five hundred dollars, said the doctor confusedly close. My shock therapy worked, cheered the engineer. You can even see the detail on banknotes again. Give back those five hundred dollars. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>